Hey guys! In this video we're going to take a look at the 10 most popular places to visit in Illinois. If you're interested in exploring the American Midwest, head to Illinois. Land of Lincoln, or the Prairie State is known and adored for many reasons. This land of Lincoln is home to bustling cities, an agricultural land that is mainly rural. You can also visit small towns full of historical significance, and relax by the shores of Lake Michigan. It's the home of the Windy City, Abraham Lincoln, and more. Illinois is blessed with natural wonders to be awed by, and offers plenty of attractions for people, who enjoy cities, or just traveling. Check out the most stunning locations to visit in Illinois. If you like the video give a like, and if you are new here, please subscribe to this channel, and press the bell icon, also leave a comment below. Rockford It's the third largest city in Illinois. Sometimes referred to as the Forest City, due to its 20,000 acres of green space, and many important cultural sites. The longest-running music club in America is located in Rockford, and it's the Mendelssohn Club. While other attractions to see are Anderson Japanese Gardens, Tinker Swiss Cottage and Culm Arboretum. A visit to Jane the T-Rex, located at the Burpee Museum of Natural History is an absolute must for anyone. Families will enjoy visiting Magic Waters, conveniently located off Interstate 90-39. The third biggest metropolis is Rockford, and it's where you'll discover the Anderson Japanese Gardens, regarded as the most beautiful Japanese gardening site in the United States. It's definitely an excellent spot to enjoy, and only open from May to October, and the gardens are well maintained. Tunnel Hill State Trail The trail is located at the southern end of Illinois, an underappreciated, but amazing place worth visiting. The trail spans just 5 miles long, and goes through several long tunnels. The large portion of the territory is reclaimed strip minings, agricultural land, and the trails offer some stunning landscapes. You can walk, run, and cycle, along the trail of crushed gravel on beautiful ravines and several bluffs and streams. To reach the trailhead, you must start in the city of Vienna. Shawnee National Forest if the outdoor is calling, answer it with a visit to Shawnee National Forest. It's located in the southernmost region of the state. The National Forest was once covered in Laurentide ice sheet. Thankfully, the ice sheet was melted many thousands of years ago. Shawnee National Forest is now ideal for camping, hiking, swimming, and photography. The main attraction of Shawnee can be found in the Garden of the Gods, an impressive rock formation. As you walk through the Illinois Quarter, a short observation trail surrounds the Garden of the Gods and allows people to appreciate the stunning beauty from all angles. The largest publicly owned piece is around 280,000 acres of land. Since it is the only national forest within Illinois, Shawnee attracts many tourists who seek to experience unique places like the beautiful Cedar Lake. There are 10 research natural areas within the forest, along with the four heritage resource sites, listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Lincoln Park The park stretches for six miles along the shores of Lake Michigan, and is the largest park in the city. One of its most famous tourist attractions is Lincoln Park Zoo, one of the oldest zoos across the United States. It houses many birds, mammals, reptiles, and amphibians. The visitors can also see, lemurs, two-toed sloths, African leopards, polar bears, and the red panda. Lincoln Park Conservatory is located near the park, where exotic tropical plants, lived in four massive greenhouses comprising ferns, ponds, and orchids. The park also hosts the Peggy Notabert Natural History Museum, and the Chicago History Museum, the theater, walking trails, and an ocean. Lincoln's New Salem The most powerful of American presidents is definitely Abraham Lincoln. If you're an American history enthusiast, or fan of Lincoln's presidency, honor the great president by making a trip to Abraham Lincoln's New Salem. The National Landmark is an excellent reconstruction of the historic New Salem, where Lincoln lived. 
In Lincoln's New Salem, you can explore 23 open historic structures. Most of these are log cabins, and many have at least one guide, wearing a old period costume. The furniture, clothes, and the horse are accurate to the time period, which is a great opportunity to get a feel for the role of Lincoln in Illinois. Cahokia Mounds Outside Street Louis, on the opposite side of the state border, lies the Cahokia Mounds State Historical Park. Cahokia Mounds are an intriguing landmark, created by American Indians. It's believed to be the most important pre-Columbian city, in the northern region of Mexico. There are still 69 mounds, that are now covered with grass. Another intriguing area part of Cahokia is Woodhenge, a huge circle comprised of 48 wooden posts, aligned in the lunar calendar, making it very like Stonehenge in England. It's famous as the biggest ancient Indian colony in northern Mexico. There are 120 mounds, with a 100-foot-high monk's mound, and it's the largest earthwork of prehistoric times in the Americas. Galena There aren't many places as fascinating as Galena, for those who love history. It's located on the banks of the Mississippi River, and often referred to as the city that time forgot. In the 18th century, Galena used to be an important port, but today tourism is the primary source of revenue. Strolling along Main Street is the best way to get around Galena, because many mom and pop shops built in the 19th century run along the street. Explore the Galena River or the residence of the former President Ulysses Grant, who was a resident of Galena, before the Civil War. Starved Rock State Park Along the shores of the Illinois River is Starved Rock State Park. The park is located 100 miles away from Chicago, therefore, plenty of people visit the park. The state boasts sandstone canyons, formed by melting glaciers, including Wildcat Canyon, French Canyon, and several waterfalls. Walking is the best method to explore the park, and the most stunning view of the park is available through a trail leading to the Lover's Lead Overlook. While hiking, keep an eye for birds and deer migrating. The park is one of the most renowned parks and may be the most beautiful. There's a range of things to see and do, including a lodge with a fireplace. The park is situated in the Illinois River Bluff in LaSalle County, is ideal for all kinds of leisure activities. Like fishing, camping, hiking, and the Starved Rock Visitor Center can be visited throughout the year. The history of the cultural heritage can be traced back to thousands of years ago, which makes it among the most historical spots in Illinois. Springfield In Illinois, the capital city is Springfield, which was once Abraham Lincoln's residence. It's the ideal destination to go to in Illinois if you're fascinated by everything, then there are plenty of choices. There's also the Lincoln Home National Historic Site in which he lived for over 17 years. Another place worth a visit is the sprawling Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum. Many people also stop visiting the Oak Ridge Cemetery, one of the most famous cemeteries in the world. It is where Abraham Lincoln and most of his family members are resting. The Dana Thomas House is one of his earliest, massive, prairie-style homes and is well-maintained. The house was designed in 1902 by Frank Lloyd Wright, which has 35 rooms, situated in Springfield Home Museum, accessible to the public through guided tours. Chicago There is no doubt that, Chicago is the best sought-after city in Illinois, and the Midwest of the United States. The city is huge, and has many things to see, but most of the best attractions are found in the Loop, known for its nickname. Millennium Park is located in the Loop, and it's where you can see the reflective sculpture, commonly referred to the name of the bean. The Chicago Institute of Art is perhaps one of the best art museums in the United States. The Chicago skyline and architecture are internationally renowned. A walking tour will show you iconic landmarks like the Aon Center, the Curving Chase Tower, and the Mid-Century Federal Center. The Chicago Riverwalk is the idea of Mayor Rahm Emanuel. 
It's one of the top tourist attractions in Illinois. The center of the Riverwalk is the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Plaza, which honors those who sacrificed their lives in wars. The floating gardens, bridges, and fishing piers are located on the Chicago Riverwalk. It's a must-see any time of the day or season, and the impressive architecture illuminated at night, making it an exceptional location to visit. The River Theater, the Cove, and the Swimming Hole are among the famous attractions of the Riverwalk, that also includes an uninhibited fountain. In addition, there are a lot of restaurants, and public seating. If you like the video give a like, and if you are new here, please subscribe to this channel, and press the bell icon, also leave a comment below.